Germany. It doesn't make sense. It, but it, we should check with the attorney because it does not make Mr. sense. Mr. Pacheco, can you, can you, can you, you get back to the board? Okay, this can you believe all the acts of Congress, all the acts of the city council, everything that's ever been done in this government is null and void because one person has a conflict of interest? It don't make sense. Well, but, but the legality is <laughs> Mr. Pacheco. The law is the law. The, the, that, that none of us are <laughs>
Yelp to Reno Historical Society. So now that you've established connectivity with that group, it's an easy answer. No one has to be an attorney to know this. You cannot fairly represent the city as a board member, which we are, elected officials, and at the same time sue the city. So all we're doing as colleagues is saying that that board member should stand up, be honest, be wholesome, and not disingenuous to the community, and step outside. Because you already know, and it's not the conflict of interest, because that term gets used, and we know that's not a monetary position. So therefore, in reality, is it a conflict of interest? No. But it's a conflict of morality. Because you guys know, just like I'm standing here before you, if I'm telling you I'm the guy suing the city, then you guys are going to say, then how can you fairly and objectively serve the city? The answer is, you can't. You don't have to be an attorney for all this. So I'd like to follow the president's suggestion and prevent ourselves from legal ramifications. And I was the president before, so I already know what to do. You ask that board member to excuse himself so that we can conduct business in a fair and impartial manner. Now relative to the issue, listen, some people live in El Torino. Some people live in City Terrace. Some of you may even live in Alhambra. But you know what? They're not all El Torino. So like the stakeholder mentioned, like I'm standing, I don't live in El Torino. I have studied the history of our community, Northeast Los Angeles, for nearly 10 years. Probably the equivalent of everybody inside this room. So I am well aware of our history. And El Torino has boundaries. And it's confined to a, a, an, a, an annexation that the city approved in 1915. So when people want to say, oh, well, you have to know the history. Of course, the history is El Torino is official. They've been confirmed. They've been annexed, and there's a date, June 10, 1915. But for those of you who don't know the history, you might see two or three of those communities that were here prior to June 10, 1915. So therefore, they have a privilege. They have seniority, and they have more history than El Torino. So for someone to come and say, as a board member or my fellow colleague, it's all El Torino, they're lying to you because because what the truth is, huh. it's not all El Torino. Because there, I can show Surely. you two or three on your agenda communities that have been around longer Bias. than El Torino. So the position that I'd like to ask this board is to stand by the community, stand by the stakeholders, represent our stakeholders fairly. That's what we do. And when you represent your stakeholders fairly, you get a good, fair decision. And the answer is we should honor the six uh, actually the six communities that are identified. And I would, I would actually propose that over the four that we used to have before. But now that we're up to six communities, that's what my support, I'd ask you colleagues to support the, support the motion for instilling the six uh, on the letter that all six communities. Okay. Mm -hmm.
can't bring it up at a, at a future date. And then for some odd crazy reason, I have a misconception of what democracy means. And we're getting ruled by attorneys. In their opinions. Possibly the best thing to do is to postpone this and let the public be aware of who is causing this that's a lot better for me, because I live in Rose Hill. And I remember how many times people did not like Rose Hill because it was a community that was not so good. Now it's an up and coming community because we are the Rose Hill. People love it. I mean, I'll, my neighbors just go practically bought a home for four hundred thousand dollars. It's unbelievable. Now that the drugs and, and the gangs and everything have slowed down, so I, I say. Let's postpone it and let the people know that the El Sereno Historical Society has caused the disunity here. Nope. 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 That's your
be. says otherwise. But, um, it doesn't exist. You know, Don't ask me. I just think um, we got to move on. This is uh, 2014, a new year. Um, let's get beyond this. Leave the letterheads as they are. Um, let the communities work to improve their communities. Thank you. That's our opinion, communities. Okay.
When this neighborhood council was founded, the main names were on the letterhead. Okay? There is a, there is a principle called past, past practice. If somebody were to take this letterhead and to the court and want to, you know, really, you know, become a model for tort reform in this country, they're going to look at the past practice and say, where were the people in the past when this letterhead had the six communities list? Let's work at the body and let's take a stand to start this year be inclusive and positive in recognizing our community heritage. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Okay, so let's take a vote to either postpone and then otherwise we'll have to go back to the original motion. Correct, Mr. Pacheco? Okay, let's take a vote to postpone the motion. Okay. I'm going to go down by, by Merle's real quick. Okay. Motion is, I'm going to note it as 6 B, I mean, B-I. Okay. Connie Castro? Anthony McDonald. No, I do not wish to postpone this item. Edward Santiago. Yes. Ruben Chavez is up the building. Michael McGuire. No. Marcelo Flores. No cat vote. Okay, I'm gonna get watch it. No. George Cabrera. No. Mike Roseberry. Marcelo Mogard, left. Cynthia Sandoval. No. Uh, Yoli Garcia. Yes. Okay. Hugo Pacheco. No. Scott Johnson's a no vote. Motion doesn't pass. Neighborhoods, though, on the motion, not the communities. It says neighborhoods. Okay, moving on to the next It doesn't matter. Next item. Okay. Uh, which would be the initiative motion, I'm sorry, the create the LA 32 official letterhead outreach ad hoc
motion to make. Somebody can make a motion right now. If you want to move, uh, make a motion make to make, make my feet up. Yeah, I'd like to make a motion to move my feet up on the agenda. I'll second it. Okay, so let's go okay. nine. Done. There you go. Yeah. And then, and then nine is the agenda. Okay, so let's go with nine feet, please. Does that take a vote? Everybody? No, there's no opposition to move forward with item nine feet. Can we just hold the top on nine feet? Yeah, on nine feet? Yeah, once, but for 9 feet, we're going to be just going to calculate it. But I need a vote. Mrs. Johnson? She can make okay. any comment before the vote. Oh, she yeah, wants to make a comment on the motion, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On the motion to move up? The motion yes. hasn't oh. been formally seconded. It has. Yeah, it has. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Oh, are you seconding the motion? Okay. Okay, okay. so, yeah. yeah. Then, okay, I missed one. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.
please to be heard at this time. Okay, second it. Mr. Mike